warriors. They're like sheep. They flock together. Throughout my journey as an investor, I've picked up so many different negative and positive habits for building true wealth. So in this video, I've broken down my top five millionaire habits that have changed my life. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be going through habits, what they are, why we're using these habits, how we use them, and a little bit about me as well and how I've implemented it throughout my life. Okay, so starting off with habit number one, in no particular order, it's got to be mindset. Now, mindset for me is truly invaluable when it not only comes to investing and building a successful investment portfolio, but it also affects your life and your lifestyle as well. Now, mindset. Let's talk about that a little bit more in detail and break it down. Now, for me, mindset is a habit, not a lifestyle. Now, the reason I say mindset is a habit, not a lifestyle, is because you need to get the right mindset and you need to keep that same mentality of mindset consistent throughout your lifestyle and your goals and your plans. We all have individual thoughts and mindsets of our own, but if you're really trying to become financially successful, an entrepreneur, a millionaire, that big that big word, a millionaire, you need to make a positive mindset a habit. Now, everyone has the desire to be great, but that's simply not enough. You need to change that desire to mindset and you need to make that mindset a habit. It really needs to be the backbone of your mind. It needs to be not only the desire, but the, the, the core value of your goals, your plan. You really need to have this mindset locked in as a habit. For me, I think it's extremely important. Now, some data to kind of back this sort of mindset topic is that millionaires aren't born, they're made. Now, I know your first thought, you're gonna say future investments. There are plenty of millionaires that are born. Of course there are, but generically, 80% of millionaires are self-made where they haven't come from extreme values of wealth. And this again comes under mindset, doesn't it? Because if you're not born into wealth and you've created it, you've had to have that mindset to develop that financial intellect yourself. So for me, one of the five is mindset. Make it a habit, not a lifestyle. Moving on to number two, show me your circle. Now this is something that's really important to me and I've lived by this very much since I've decided I want to be a successful entrepreneur. Your friends are your future. Show me your circle and it will show you who you are as a person. And I think this is extremely true. I've had all sorts of different circles of friends and people around me and I have found that networking is invaluable. Some of my greatest successes have been from me choosing my correct circle. I've learned better investment vehicles, I've built my financial investment knowledge, and I've built wisdom as well. And that's all from choosing my circle. They do say you are more likely to follow your friends' trends. And there is factual data to prove this. If your friends are obese, there's a 20% chance that you're more likely to put on weight. And I think if you're hanging around with people that are warriors, they're like sheep. They flock together. And although you may not be a warrior yourself or somebody who has this sort of anxiety around things, it can tend to lead you onto a similar path. And it's kind of true, isn't it? Warriors are like sheep. They flock together. Now, that's not to say, you know, just because somebody isn't into investing, trying to become an entrepreneur, you shouldn't disconnect from them. But if you are really trying to build wealth for yourself and become successful, if that's what we're talking about here, you need to sit down and think about your circle. Are the people that you're hanging around with, are they a liability? Are they financing cars? Are they buying clothes to look flash? Or are you hanging around with the people that are being frugal, saving for that big investment that's gonna become a dividend paying asset? Maybe something that's gonna become semi or, or passive. So it's something to think about, but for me, it's worked very well. So one of the habits, again, is show me your circle. Moving on. To the next habit, be strong and be consistent. Now, consistency compounds. We've talked about the compound effect before. Implementing very small, regular, 
but consistent changes over a long period of time. And the key word there is consistent. Be strong, what do I say be strong? Well, I'll give you an example. When I started my YouTube channel, I remember telling close friends and people that you would consider friends, but not necessarily close, you know, I'm starting this YouTube channel, etc. Da, 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 da. I got a lot of negative feedback by people saying not a lot. And there's a saying, isn't there? You can say a lot without saying nothing at all. And even to this day, I still get those particular people say, how's the YouTube channel future investments? And I know what they really want to hear. They want to hear, ah, oh, now I stopped it because it was too much effort. It wasn't paying out what the work that or the effort that I was putting in. And I use that as fuel for my fire. So be strong. Let those haters and the people that tell you that they're happy for you, when sometimes they're really not, fuel that drive, fuel that desire, and help you keep that consistent mindset. Find meaning, prove the haters wrong, and let your success do the talking. Very, very important. Okay, so the next category for five millionaire habits is find solutions, not problems. This again comes back to mindset. It falls under that category, but it's very much about being a glass half full instead of a glass half empty. And think about things beyond the length of your own nose. Finding solutions, not problems. It's easy to be negative when things aren't going well and to just give up, to think, nope, I'm not doing it anymore. But if you're looking in a positive mental attitude mindset, not only will you find how to rectify this problem, but you'll find fresh ideas. An example I'd give you is that I've been doing YouTube for nearly three years now here on Future Investments. And there's been multiple times where I've put in a lot of effort for a particular genre or style of content, whether that's across YouTube, Instagram, TikTok or Twitter. And it's not performed. It's been a lot of work and it's simply not performed. I didn't give up. I didn't look at the problems. I looked for solutions. I took the best bits from them elements and put them into a new project. And that's allowed me to become successful. So have a positive mental attitude and try and find solutions, not problems. And moving on to number five, the final five millionaire habits that have helped change my life, take time for you. As someone who is extremely driven, highly motivated, cannot take my foot off the gas sort of mentality, I do need to physically pull myself away sometimes and give myself some time. This allows me to reflect. It gives me new perspective. It keeps you consistent because instead of you getting bored and stale, you take a short break, you get that fresh mindset and you can come back and hit it hard. And that allows you to be consistent. It also allows you to update and adjust your goals, investments and your lifestyle. Taking a break really does help you reflect. And by doing that, it keeps you healthy. And I've said this many times before here on Future Investments, it does fall under that mindset and lifestyle category genre of content. But if you've got health, you've got wealth, and everything else is a bonus. That's been the episode today on five millionaire habits that have changed my life. I hope you've liked it. I hope you take some of these away with you and maybe consider implementing them in your life because it has really helped me. Let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this episode, I've enjoyed filming it. And until next time, I'll see you all in the very next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.